I really hope you didn't click on this video thinking there was some secret trick or some kind of hack to make you faster in the canyons or just faster on the bike in general. There's no secret trick. The only thing there is is practice. Just like anything else, it's the same concept as everything else. It takes practice to get good. And sometimes you just have to have some big ass cojones. But if I were to give you any advice, learn when to break, learn when to accelerate. And it comes from knowing your road and just having a little bit of confidence in yourself. So enjoy this video. I got this mic issue fixed, dude. Jesus. Huh. All right. So, you want to get faster in the canyons? It's very simple. Just remember those two things. Know when to break and know when to accelerate. There's going to be times where you need to go slow and you just take those corners slow. And, uh, you know, there's going to be times where you can take straights really, really fast. And that's it. You know, other than knowing your road, that's all you got to do. Just brake later and accelerate harder in certain areas. Very simple. You know, just, this is kind of where you warm up, right? In the beginning of the uh, the canyon. Just so take it easy, you know, feel the bike out. This is going to be my uh, third time here on this bike and it's still very uh, unfamiliar. Still learning a lot of things on it. Knowing what it likes. Just trying to figure out what it doesn't like. Now, my R1 was geared uh, one down, two up. You, some of you guys know that as uh, Roth gearing. And this bike is not geared and it's very tall. So, whoa, guy! That guy was really close. So, just trying to figure out um, where in the RPM range this bike likes to be ridden. That's the battle right now. That's the struggle for me. Fuck, I might get stuck behind these people. Alright, that's fine. So, first lap, all you really want to do is just kind of, you know, like, like always coming out here, you just want to take an easy lap and look at the road, you know, look, look for debris or anything like that that might uh, get in your way. If you come out here the first lap sending it, uh, it's going to be bad news for you, dude. I mean, it, it's not always, but it could be, you know. And, um, you know, there's just a lot of traffic out here today. One thing I never do is is I, I never really unless they they let me uh, like they pull over to the side um, I don't I don't pass cars in double yellows just because I don't know it's kind of dangerous man and you know I'm not I'm not opposed to crossing a double yellow as long as the road is clear and you could see far ahead of you but right now you know there's a lot of blind spots I can't see so I could pass these people but. I'm not going to because I don't want another thing like another reason you don't want to be doing that is because you don't want to blow up your spot man you want to you don't want to be out here like riding like hell and then you know cutting people off and putting other drivers in danger and, and yourself really you don't want cops called on you or anything like that you want to come out here and have fun and you want to be able to come back so you know first lap take it nice and easy figure it out make sure there's no debris there's no no hazards or anything that's in your way you know and wow it's pretty <laughs> look at that like a lot a lot of cars will pass this you know they'll cross this double yellow like coming out in, in out of corners or you know some of them surprise it's not surprising but some, a lot of them are on their phones so be very careful be very very careful and I think I'm hoping these this person will let me pass or these people will uh, please pull over no. Just did my first pass. Time to go back. There we go. jacked up I don't know this bike I gotta take it easy I remember take it easy
throttle right now. A little bit of braking. I'm not trying to push it as hard as I normally would. Keeping it in second, trying to figure out where my corners are. Trying to keep a good BP and trying to talk at the same time. This is really hard. Woo! Semi. I slow down when I see like big semis like that because <laughs> there's Albert. Woo! I was hoping he would catch me. What's up? <laughs> you still riding, bro? What? I didn't know you were still alive, bro. Uh -huh. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, what's up? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm back. What happened to you, man? This I know, I just, this is my second day out here. I don't know this road anymore, bro. Oh, <laughs> That's track day tire, bro. <laughs> All right, we got a special surprise. Fucking ran in a, ran in a crazy owl. <laughs> I'm talking to the fucking GoPro. <laughs> That's not my name. It's not, it's, um... I, I ran into Crazy Randy. So, and he got a new bike. It's beautiful. CBR6. Oh, I'll follow you. He's probably going to pass a bunch of cars. Cut this one. Oh, I see what he's talking about. There's oil. Christ, that guy's fucking fast, dude. Beast, bro. Randy, look at him, look at him. Yeah, he knows this road. That's what happens when you know your road. I used to be that fast. Maybe not, maybe not. I don't know, man. I never pushed it that hard. This guy's a sound, dude. I don't know. Kind of missing my R1 right now. 
Yeah, it's been a while, guys. It has been a while since I've been out here. Whew. You're fucking sending it, bro. <laughs> well, I'm just fucking hella slow. <laughs> what have you been doing with your life? Jesus Christ. They always do. Oh, shit. <laughs> 